As our Lord and Savior, Dwight Schrute, once said, Nostalgia is truly one of the great human weaknesses, second only to the neck. However, since I have the strongest neck on earth, nostalgia is the only thing I must concern myself of. And I must say I've been hit pretty hard by nostalgia lately, with the announcement of Demon Soul remake and the remake of one of the first anime I've ever watched, Shaman King. You might think that nostalgia fairly wounded me with those announcements. Nope, no my friend, you'll be mistaken. Nostalgia came much earlier, and it came in an incredibly more lethal dose. You see, a nobody of mine texted me two months ago and asked me if I wanted to play Duffus. Like in the good old day, like when we were both 14 years old and sharing my computer to play. Ah, the good old time. So yeah, for the past two months, I've been playing Duffus Retro. By the way, if you have ever heard of Duffus, you might know that there's two versions of this game. There's the regular version, that is the current patch, and there's the retro version. It's just an older patch of the game that the fanbase tend to romanticize about, as it really cranked that nostalgia meter to 11. Also, if you never heard of Duffus, it's totally normal. It's a French game with a fairly small English community. Anyway, I've been playing it for the past two months, and my little yup is now level 70. Now that I'm at a decent level, I can see with confidence that the game is as good as I remember it being. There's a bunch of unique dungeon. There's also 12 class of character that you can have with different playstyle, which is pretty cool because there's also a lot of different equipment that you can put on them. So there's a lot of versatility when it comes to building your character. On top of that, every single class of character have their cool gimmick or speciality to them. Like the SRAM, who's a sneaky little bitch. You can get invisible and put trap, while the Sekirer is kind of an emo kid. He got tattoo, and the harder you hit him, the stronger you get. But the greatest thing about this game is by far the richness of the world, ranging from looking for a dragon egg, to fighting what I assume is a fat sheep, to fighting his cousin, the cooler fat sheep, to even assassinating Spongebob. There's a lot of cool thing to do in this world. The universe is so rich, they made an anime with three goddamn seasons. Alright, is the game flawless? No, far from it. It can be buggy with slow pass combat, it's also very grindy and not really solo player friendly. No, it is not perfect, but when I look at it with my nostalgia glasses on, it's fucking amazing. And that's the problem with nostalgia. When you look at a game that you played when you were a kid, you remember playing with friends or you remember playing from hours on end. Or you remember the game that gave you the thirst for more game like it? The game that shaped you as a gamer? I can honestly say that it's because of Paper Mario, Duffus, and Pokemon that my favorite type of video game is turn-based RPG. What's my point with all of this? Well, my point is that some people have a hard time admitting that some game that they play as a child might be flawed or, in some case, just flawed bad. They cannot admit it because they are too attached to it. Because they feel personally attacked when they hear that the game they play as a child might be less than perfect. My point is, Final Fantasy VII fucking sucked. <laughs>